Well, we conducted our study because there is evidence that patients with stage 2 and 3 HER2 positive breast cancer derive benefit from chemotherapy with trastuzumab. But for stage 1 patients, this is actually unclear. We do know that patients with small node negative tumors have a relatively poor prognosis if HER2 positive. So now the question was, do these patients derive benefit from chemotherapy with trastuzumab or yeah, don't they? Uh, our cohort consisted of 3,512 patients, all with stage 1 HER2 positive breast cancer, and they were diagnosed between 2006 and 2012, and all were Dutch patients. Um, and 45% of these patients were treated with systemic therapy, defined as chemotherapy and or trastuzumab, irrespective of endocrine therapy. Well, we saw that the patients who were treated derived substantial benefit from the treatment. So they did better in terms of overall survival and breast cancer specific survival. And we saw this benefit from systemic therapy in all three tumor size groups. So in the T1A, the T1B and the T1C subgroup. I think the take home message will be that um, patients with small uh, tumors and node negative HER2 positive disease derive benefit from uh, systemic therapy, so chemotherapy with trastuzumab. However, the absolute benefit is 5% in terms of breast cancer specific survival. So whether this is enough to run systemic therapy in these patients, yeah, that's something that should be discussed by the oncologist and the individual patients. But that yeah, were the results of our research. We're thinking about a trial to treat these patients with a less aggressive treatment approach or maybe the patients with hormone receptor positive and HER2 positive uh, disease, treating them with only endocrine therapy and dual HER2 blockade, so without chemotherapy.